I started removing the Plasti Dip Hyper Dip from my 2014 Callaway, uh, and I thought I would shoot a quick video to show you guys how it's done and the difference. Do a quick comparison between Rust Oleum Vinyl Wrap Gloss Black and Plasti Dip Hyper Dip Piano Black. I put these on probably seven or eight months ago now, and the Rust Oleum actually says that you're only supposed to leave it on for six months. However, I like the way it turned out, and I figure if it damages the paint at all, I'm going to have them either vinyl wrapped or just gloss black them again or have them painted because I, I like the way it looks. So I'll take my chances with leaving it on for more than six months. This mirror was done in the Rust-Oleum gloss black. The top I also did. The top didn't come out as great once you get to a bigger, a larger area. Didn't seem to come out as well. It's a little cloudy, a little spotty, but it's not bad for a can of dip. And then the rear, I also did that in the Rust-Oleum. What I did in the Hyper Dip, Plasti Dip, was these stripes. The yellow is just pinstriping that I added. But I did these hash marks, and as you can see, get closer up, they are not even. There are, there are streaks in them that you can see and they just didn't come out nice. Now if you use, I used um, some tire shine on them and that shined them up, you could still see the, the discoloration in it, but it was much better. But I'm, what I'm trying to do now, I'm gonna take it back off and I'm gonna try that, the Rust-Oleum gloss black on everything and see how that comes out. But if you can see, so I also did the hood, I already took the yellow stripe off before I thought of making this video. I had striped around the stinger on the car. I just, I removed the grill uh, earlier today. You can see in the video though, you can see here, there, pretty much all over the place. I've never, I've been using Plasti Dip products for 10 years. I've done a lot of wheels. I've done a lot of door handles, trim, lots of stuff. You can see the discoloration in it. So I covered it a couple of times. Uh, I applied it. Like the direction said, I've got plenty of experience applying it and it just would not lay flat. You can see all the discoloration in it throughout here. Uh, it's it's not a nice even coverage at all. So again, this is the, the Plasti Dip Piano Black Hyper Dip. I uh, did this hash mark as well. It looks okay over here in the shadows, but it's the same way. So I'll probably be removing it. But I did want to show you how this comes off. Now I already started rolling it and peeling it. Uh, and it's it's come off pretty easy. Like I said, it's been on for about six months. So this is Hyper Dip coming off. Let's see if I can get... I started rolling the edges, but it comes off like a sheet of vinyl. I mean, I'm, I'm, I think I, I don't remember exactly how many coats I put on. I think I put on four or five. but it really, it, it comes off as build. It comes off really nice. Much easier with two hands. Just pull a little bit all the way around. And this is a Callaway, so that's the supercharger, and I'm gonna have to go around it. I taped it off, but look at the paint underneath. Looks great. It looks perfect. I, you can't see it real well in the video, but there is no, there's no damage. There's no damage to the clear coat. There's no, it looks just like it did before I put the dip on six months ago, so uh, this is gonna come off. I mean, I don't need to keep shooting this video. I'm trying to lean over this car, remove the dip with one hand and hold the camera with the other. But you can see how it's coming off. And then once I get to, I taped off that supercharger there, so. I'm just using my fingers underneath it to Kind of break it free a little bit. Yeah, it's coming off great. Yep, it's just like it's supposed to. Wow, the bottom of it looks outstanding. Look at the nice gloss on the bottom of that. Too bad you can't see the bottom of it because that's nice. That's how it looks when you watch the Dip Your Car videos. Now they do wheels, I never saw them do, you know, the application that I did, which was a, an entire stinger stripe. I have found that Plasti Dip, unless you are using uh, a turbine sprayer or an, a, a regular sprayer, 
it doesn't cover well. It covers well when you're doing small things like door handles, trim, uh, wheels. But when you start getting into larger areas, you know, more than a foot or two, in a rattle can, it's it's just almost impossible to get a nice even coat, nice even coverage. But even with that, the discoloration that I'm seeing in it, it's it's not typical, not even for regular Plasti Dip. So uh, there's a little bit of a comparison here, the two cans. That's the this here is the Plasti Dip Hyper Dip, and that's piano black, and then that Rust-Oleum vinyl wrap I, I just picked up at my local Advance Auto Parts. So as far as I'm concerned. The Rust-Oleum wins. Hope this was helpful.